Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to do a continuation on the last video I made about doing cold approaches. And in this one, I wanna talk about the importance of failure and humiliation and embarrassment uh, when you do your first few cold approaches. How it's gonna make you better, how, you, how you're gonna stop caring, and how you can use it to your advantage. So failing in anything in life uh, is what is going to make you better. It is the best way to get better. And particularly when we're talking about cold approaches, uh, public speaking, um, any sort of social skill that you want to build. Um, a lot of young guys today think that they are not allowed to fail, that they're not supposed to fail, uh, that they need to completely avoid um, embarrassing themselves in any way or feeling feelings of humiliation uh, and that any feeling of discomfort in general is something that has to be completely avoided. So when it comes to cold approach and day game and talking to women uh, when you are sober and doing it in a confident way and succeeding at it, um, somebody who reads 10 books on the subject and doesn't do a single cold approach is not going to be as good as the other guy who didn't read any books on cold approach and just did a thousand cold approaches in a month. Um, the best way to get better is by doing something a whole bunch of times and failing at it. Um, feeling failure or feeling miserable or uh, feeling embarrassment in uh, those uncomfortable situations is something that you build a callus to. Facing fear is something that is literally built into humans. Uh, we have the fight or flight response, uh, which makes cold approaches so invigorating and primal. Uh, your senses are heightened, your heart rate is increased, you might have some adrenaline pumping, and training yourself to stay in that place of discomfort is what's going to make you a master. You see, when you uh, realize that there is no consequence for failing miserably, uh, you won't try to avoid it anymore. Uh, this puts you in a healthy headspace of not expecting any certain outcome from an approach. Uh, you're not afraid of somebody rejecting you or not responding in a, in a uh, positive way. And you learn that there is no uh, danger. Uh, it, it is not dangerous for somebody to reject you. It does not put you in any physical danger. And you stop fearing this thing that was completely invisible and harmless to begin with. Um, classic scenario of exposure therapy. So because there is no danger and there is no penalty or anything to be afraid of if you fail in a cold approach, you want to make sure that you always abide to 100% honesty. So you don't want to approach people who you are not attracted to. You don't want to approach people who you are not interested in talking to because they are going to sense during the interaction that you're being ungenuine and that you're not being honest and they're not going to react in a good way. Of course, it's always good to get practice and you're not always going to have uh, scores of women available to you that you are attracted to. Sometimes you do have to settle. Uh, if you just want to get practice, but um, you do want to be honest. Uh, also in the sense of you, you don't want to be an actor, you don't want to be somebody who you're not. You want to be the best version of yourself. You want to um, speak loud, you want to smile, you want to make sure that you have good solid technique, but you don't want to be somebody that you're not. So always abide to honesty. So yeah, when you're doing cold approaches, 100% do not fear failure. Uh, do not fear uh, feeling uncomfortable. Uh, I think a lot of guys who first start doing this think that the feeling of discomfort means that they shouldn't be doing it, that they're not meant for it, uh, that they're awkward, that, that it's just not something that they should even try. Uh, but if you can push through that, if you can push through the discomfort, if you can sit in a bath of discomfort for minutes and minutes on end and, and just get used to it, uh, that's going to really make you um, a much better man because very few men in the modern day are doing this. Uh, you, you just don't see guys approaching women sober during the daytime and uh, striking up conversations. 
It's a very rare skill today. It's a very difficult skill to acquire because it takes so much bravery. But of course, once you don't care and once you see that there is no danger, like I was talking about before, uh, it doesn't really take bravery. You just you, you just don't care anymore.